Hello, long time no see. Let us get ready for Fanex. I don't remember a Thursday here being that busy before. It was still very successful, very good show. I'm very happy. I plan to go back next year. Obviously, Fanex is this week. Um, today is Tuesday, so we've got two days to prepare. The show is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, because Utah. Um, right, so today we've, I have one non-convention prep thing to do that I need to go do soon, which is grocery shopping. Well, there's kind of some prep work involved there because I need to get some food for, to eat during the weekend because I will not pay what the Salt Palace wants for food and I am soloing this little convention, so I don't want to leave my table more than necessary because I need money and I need to network. The life of an artist. We'll be going, I'll be going and doing that soon and then when I come back I'm gonna um, double check my inventory and see what I need to go get printed today and take care of that and just start some packing. I have had a very slow year for sales so I shouldn't have to do a whole lot of packing but there is some stuff I need to do. Once I'm done with all of that then hopefully tomorrow is just making sure I really do have everything you know tonight I gotta make sure that my um, PayPal thing everything's all charged up I've got my batteries charged everything like that's all set together gotta see if I need to buy any more like tape or whatever to put in my little emergency convention box that I take with me everywhere Excuse me. anyway I'm gonna get ready to go to the store and I might bring you guys in with me I'm still trying to get brave enough to do that I'll see you in a bit Hey everybody, All right, so it is day one here at Fanex. The doors will be opening in like an hour-ish. It's already been something of a morning. <laughs> $30 to park here, which is nuts because I believe it was $15 last year. So why they felt the South Palace felt the need to bump it up another $15, I don't know. That so far is the biggest complaint because holy shit. So. I am eating some lunch because I am hungry. Everything's all set up and we will see what today brings us. Hopefully today brings us enough money to pay back parking because, ouch. Alrighty, see you guys in a bit. I'm very tired, as you can clearly tell, but then I'm always tired. So it is day two. It's the start of day two. Like the floor opens in an hour to VIP. I just got here. <laughs> Running a little late this morning. Oh, but it's fine. So let's talk about yesterday because I didn't close out the vlog last night because I basically got home and went to bed. <laughs> I was tired. Uh, there was a lot of foot traffic yesterday holy shit like I don't remember a Thursday here being that busy before that was a lot of people wow and it was also really really good for sales like I've made back parking been a good turnout hoping for today to be good too Whew. it's gonna be a long day the show is what what does this thing say this thing lies I can't see but um yeah the show it's from 11 to not to eight excuse me it's from 11 to 8 tonight so it is the long day it's friday tomorrow saturday we'll get out at nine so i won't be home until like way late tomorrow night obviously i'm ranting right now but you're all still here for some reason unless you've skipped ahead in the video which you know what i get it okay so i'm gonna grab my shite and we're gonna go upstairs to the table and see what today brings us so one thing I will say with the show is that this is the new thing that they're doing this year with if you get a corner you get this weird little like cubby thing. I do not know what to think of this. 
So with this, the weird thing about this is like with the layout, like between these two tables, you have maybe like a foot of space behind you. And then you have like on the table over on the other side, you have like eight feet just about. So I don't know whose idea that was, but it's really confusing and really weird here. I'll show you with my table what it looks like. So like that's the corner space. And like our neighbor behind us has like almost no room over there and then we've got miles of room like this is weird i've never seen it at another show i don't know what's up with this so if you're thinking of coming to fanex just and you want a corner keep that in mind and like all i see when i look at that is a traffic jam waiting to happen or no one's gonna see you because you're in a weird cubby here. I'm working on the vlog and I realized I didn't do an intro for day three because I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway, so um, a recap of the Friday a real quick uh, because I do still remember what that was like. Friday was a Friday sales. There was still a lot of foot traffic but like hardly anyone was buying anything. So those of you who go to conventions on Fridays, it was a typical Friday. There's editing Janice, there's what happened, there's your intro. Here's some footage of the foot traffic at the show. Morning everyone, it's Sunday, Fanex is over. Let's get talking about Fanex and the show this year. First, I apologize for the lack of recording at the table. I did my best, but there was a lot of foot traffic and I'm never really sure who will come to a table when I'm vlogging or not. So I just don't usually record myself if I don't have to. Um, so yeah, well, let's get into the show and how it was and my overall thoughts with that. Um, really, I only have three complaints about the show this year. Two of which I put at the fault of the Salt Palace and not at Fanex. But let's get into those. Um, but the price of parking this year, $30 a day with no in and out privileges. Ouch. <laughs> If my memory is correct, last year it was only like $15. It was either $15 or $20. So why they decided to jack it up to this price is beyond me. It was unnecessary and absolutely ridiculous. Parking in downtown Salt Lake City is already an adventure. And I know they raise the prices during events. That's just what everybody does. But this felt excessive, especially um, at the Salt Palace parking when more than half of the first level parking lot is actually taken over by the Hyatt. So it's like, this felt like a lot of money for no reason whatsoever. Secondly, another complaint with the Saw Palace was the elevator issue. Now, they only had one working elevator, at least on my half of the Saw Palace where I was with the exhibitor floor, for all three days. Day one and two, I can kind of understand it. Day three, when everyone's leaving, no. There was a huge line for the one elevator that went down to that parking garage. That's not how it was last year. Like, they had all of the elevators open so that everyone could get out of there. So for us exhibitors, who are in the artist alley, we'll only have a couple of suitcases or maybe a wagon of stuff to take down to the car. They don't need the loading zone. The line to get to the elevator was ridiculous. I don't know if it was a security issue. I don't know if they were down for maintenance or what, but like the other elevators that go down to the parking garage were like roped off. So I don't know what the heck was going on there, but on the last day, that was just ridiculous. <sighs> the last thing that was annoying, this I do put on Fanex. Um, there were no announcements made throughout the entirety of the show, at least in the exhibitor hall. And Last year, they were spot on with all the announcements, especially when we were getting ready to close at night. Like, hey, there's 30 minutes until we're closing, you know, wrap up your purchases. This year, all they did was turn the lights off. Like, within five minutes of us closing. It's like, okay, your five minutes are up, get out. And all the exhibitors are like, uh, where's our announcements? Because people will shop up until the last minute and sometimes after those lights turn off. 
can we have our announcements, please? Please. Please, please. But nothing. So then I do put on Fanex. So if someone from Fanex for some reason is watching this, can we please have the announcements back next year? Because it was really helpful. Oh my goodness. But no, those are really my three biggest problems with the show this year. Anything else was just too stupid or dumb or not anyone's fault to really say anything about. So I'm just not going to. Um, but the show as a whole, very, very good show. This was my second most successful show ever. Helps that I'm local so I don't have as many expenses to deal with as I do when I'm traveling to like Los Angeles or something. But it was still very successful, very good show. I'm very happy. I plan to go back next year. Sales this year were kind of something. So Thursday, there were a lot of sales. So there were a lot of sales. Like people were buying on Thursday like it was a Saturday. It's just like, okay, this is different. <sighs> Excuse me. Friday, people were buying like it was Friday. Sales were slow. There was a lot of foot traffic at the palace, but sales were slow. Saturday, kind of on and off for me throughout the day, but I was still sold. I made good profit at the show. Yay! Like Enough to where I'm ready to go back next year. All right. <sighs> but yeah. So that was Fanex, 2023. We're all good show. It was the show's 10 years anniversary. Anyone who's been following me for a while knows I've been to the show more than a couple of times. There was a point where I didn't know if I'd go back to the show because they jacked up their table prices. They've gotten smarter with them since then, but we'll see what they are next year. Because there's a couple shows I'm getting priced out of, and that's concerning. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and end the vlog there, and also by saying the next show is going to be LA Comic Con. So I'll keep you guys posted trying to get back into the vlog scene. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.